Oh hello my dear subscribers, hello YouTube, narrates here and greetings to you all from where? From Tirana, the capital city of Albania. I have just arrived in here last night, but I don't like filming at night time, you know. So at this 10 in the morning, it's right time to go on the streets and film for you. Okay, let us explore the city. That's the opera building. This is the Atem Pasha Mosque. Bank of Albania right in front of us. Yeah, we are getting to the Atem Pasha Mosque. I doubt if you can get inside. And there is another attraction in here, which is the tower that which we are going to see shortly. There we go. Let's get a bit closer. We are the clock tower of Tirana. Yeah. I just inside the clock tower. 200 black, which is like one and a half euro. You need to pay for getting in here. Climbing the steps. See you at the top. So I'm at the top of the clock tower. So I can see the Skander Bay Square from above. That clock tower was built in year 1980 and 88, quite a one. Well, like, I mean, you know, just paying like 150 euro, you know, and you are going to the top of it and you can see the uh, center, the square, sorry, of um, Tirana. Not better, you know the wheel. And that's it. This is the Skandave, statue of the Skandave. And this is the Tirana Rai. Ah. Alright guys, so Albania is located at the uh, Balkans, you know, but Albania has never been a part of the ex Yugoslavia, you know. Capital is Tirana, you can come over here from um, Edinburgh by uh, plane or other parts of the um, UK. And uh, you can find pretty cheap flights, by the way. So I got mine for 33 quid, you know. It was a really good deal. And in this country, the currency is lack, which is not Euro, you know. And Albania, not yet a full member of um, European Union, but looks like within a couple of years, they will be a full member of the um, European Union. Albania has been ruled by Enver Hoxha. You know, Enver Hoxha was a um, communist leader. From uh, 1944, 45, might be wrong, guys. Sorry, until his demise, 1985, he literally ruled this country with his iron fists. You know, he kicked out the Nazi Germans, he kicked out the uh, Italian, you know, the uh, fascists who came invaded here. You know, fascists. I mean, the Mussolini. You know, and afterwards, he literally like ruled this country. With his iron fists, you know, uh, they were not allowed to leave the country, and people they were not allowed to enter here. The Albanians were not allowed to go abroad, you know, literally like. And he forbid 
all uh, religions in here, Judaism, Islam, uh, predominantly people are uh, Muslim in this country, and Christians as well, you know, he closed all the churches, mosques, and you know what, he was forcing Muslims to eat pork, and then like, eating uh, telling them not to fast during ramadan and he was uh, forcing them to eat you know loads of other things and the other thing is that because of his paranoia let's say and they have built more than 500 um, bunkers 500,000 sorry bunkers in this country and there you can see them even on current days you know you will see a few of them guys we will have a good tour in here so let's crack on Yes. Now we have entered. I need to scan my. Oh my God! It now we are entering the bunkers. You know, this is what the Ender Hoja built against the you know um chemicals. You know the attacks to Albania. These shelters. Nuclear bomb, sorry guys. It's quite claustrophobic to be honest. <laughs> Let's move into another one. Like I have said, and my brother fought against me. German Nazis and the Italian fascists as well. He kicked them out from the country. They were guarding the borders with these dogs. And this barbed wire everywhere. Not Dutch, but the one. When I was in Vilnius, I went to the KGB museum over there. Here, a bit reminded me, KGB museum. 
Wow. The contamination room. It's quite dark. I think they were taking the testimonies of the between people. One more thing I need to show you. It is 700 pounds to get inside in here. Excuse me, 700 lakhs. Not the British pounds. <laughs> Now I'm leaving the bomb car. I'm going out. It was quite claustrophobic. Ugh. <clears throat> I really hope that in the history we never have places like this anymore. Right. The Orthodox Cathedral of Tirana. Right. Let's get inside. Apparently, what I have heard, this is the uh, biggest one here in Tirana. Well, this is where I'm going to enter. This piece is coming from the Berlin Wall. And a bunker. Let's see if I can get inside. This is the State University of Albania. And here is the stadium of Partizani Tirana. Let's see if I can get inside. Uh -huh. So this is the Partizan Tirani Stadium, Air Albania. Second stadium, Stadium Stefani Salmani. The stadium of the football team, Cafe Tirana, or it was called Dinamo Tirani before, as far as I can remember. It doesn't look well, off, well uh, looked after, well maintained. So that's basically it. Albanian tradition of dish, burek, birek. I got a coke and I paid like three euro for this. Hey, let me demonstrate to you guys the Albanian currency. It is called black. This is 200. This is 1000 black. This, this is 2000. Another 2000. And this is the 5,000 lakh. Well, um, 
one pound is equivalent to 120 lakh at the moment let me show you guys my room so here it is it's quite basic it's a bit dirty you know I've got the air condition I have got the TV and toilet is right here there is a bathtub Basically it. Oh, good. It's raining like cats and dogs. <laughs> right. For today's dinner, I'm at the Tradica Tradita Pea here in Toronto, Albania. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> So they got the sausages, meatballs, you know, they have the salad. They got the paya beer. <laughs> These are the drinks. The paya is a really nice lager, by the way. You should definitely try that one if you're in Albania. Be sitting in here. Let's go there. Cooking my food now. <laughs> and here comes my food. Excellent. Skander Bay Square at night. Good afternoon. I supposed to be in Kosovo today, please remember. It has been raining like cats and dogs here and over there, so I had to cancel my trip. Literally like the rain stopped roughly like an hour ago, so I had lunch and I will be exploring more Tirana guys. Right, so after this heavy rain, the sun is up. I've just been to the museum. But as soon as they have seen my camera, they said that I'm not allowed to film in here. Same thing they told me at the House of Leaves as well, guys. So, can you know, there's not much I can do. Okay, black clouds are again gathering on the sky. I think that another heavy rain is on the way. So, I'll do my best for what? Exploring more to run and show you more, guys. Alright? Okay, I'm going to find a cafe. I want cappuccino. Looks like it's going to rain again. Oh dear dear! This is the heart of Tirana. Right, so many people they have asked me loads of questions about here. You know, I wrote them on a piece of paper and I'll go through with them with you guys. Okay, so is it safe to travel? Yes, it is safe. I mean, there are certain places which you shouldn't enter. Well, as soon as you see someone like it's pretty dodgy, do not enter, okay? Do people speak in English? Yeah, younger generation, they do all speak in English, but elderly, oh no, they do not. Is it expensive? It's not expensive because you do not, they do not have Euro in here. They have got the lack, which is like one Merdita uh, uh, cappuccino. And I'm speaking with my amazing Albanian, by the way. <laughs> And the, and the one pound is equivalent to 120 um, lakh, lakh, all right? And how about the food? Food is pretty decent in here. It is so close to Turkish Greek cuisine, you know? And at the same time, there's a massive Italian influence in here. Loads of pizza, of Italian restaurants, you know? And transfer from the airport. Right. There is, you can get a taxi, but it's quite expensive. But if you like to come to the, uh, from airport to the city centre by bus, you're just paying 400, like, which is like 4 euro. And it is taking roughly like half an hour to 40 minutes, you know, and it's taking you right at the centre of Toronto. And people are very friendly, yes, they are really friendly, especially if you speak at it, Albanian with them. <laughs> it's different. I can't speak some because my grandmother was Albanian. 
but I can't speak fluent. Maybe one day. The pyramid of Tirana. I will go till the top of it. God knows how many steps. Oh dear, dear. I'm so upset that I haven't made to present today, but never mind. There's always another chance. Right, I'm at the top of it. Shit. Another coffee break. Ama bu sefer bu videoda Türkçe devam edeceğim arkadaşlar. Çok fazla bana soru geldi. Ee, i̇şte Arnavutluk güvenli mi? Arkadaşlar Arnavutluk güvenli. Arnavutluk da nereye gideceğinizi biliyorsanız bir sıkıntı yok. İşte pahalı mı diyorsunuz? Burada led geçiyor. Euro geçmiyor. Türk vatandaşlarına vize yok. Ee, ondan sonra Türkçe bilen var mı? Türkçe bilen arada çıkıyor. Bir de her şeyin başına. Türkleri de burada gerçekten bayağı bir seviyorlar. Seviyorlar yani dediğiniz zaman. Bayağı bir yüzleri gülüyor. İşte bir Türkçe kelimeleri falan size söylüyorlar. Ondan sonra. Ben buraya gelmeni size tavsiye ederim. Yalnız şöyle bir şey söyleyeceğim. Yani Tiran'da 3 gün 2 gece kalırsanız. Tiran'da görmek istediğiniz her yeri görürsünüz. Ama bunun dışında deniz kenarı yerler var. İşte Dras diye bir yer var. Türkçesi Dras ben gitmedim daha oraya. E, Vlor diye, Avalonya diye bir yer var. Ve aynı zamanda yazın diyor. Özellikle işte Temmuz, Ağustos, e, Haziran hatta Eylül ayına kadar. Ve e, Sarandı, Butin ve de Kısamil'i de e, ziyaret edebilirsiniz. Biliyorsunuz ki e, Arnavutluğun e, Adriyatik Denizi'ne e, kıyısı var ve Adriyatik Denizi'de en temiz deniz arkadaşlar burada. Yani vize yok, euro geçmiyor. Sizlere tavsiye ederim gelin ama tekrar söylediğim gibi yani Tiran'da 3 e, gün 2 gece kalsanız sizin için yani bir, başka bir sebebiniz yok. Sizin için yeterli olur diye düşünüyorum. Allah benim bir günüm daha var bakalım eğer yarın hava da yağmazsa bizden Kosova'ya gideceğim inşallah. Neyse ben kahvemi işe durayım. Görüşürüz. That's the banka and I'm going to get inside. Oh my god. Jesus. Let's. This is Toptani. It's like a um, small, like a street, you know, got the bars, cafes, Svenny shops. I just want to briefly demonstrate you. It's a bit expensive in here, just bear in mind. My dear subscribers, I'm sure you know this place, don't you? This is where I have opened this video. Okay, right, so today I just got back from Prizren, Kosovo, you know, and tomorrow I'm flying back to Scotland. 
but I have had such an amazing time in here. I really like Tirana, I really like Albania so much. Very nice, very friendly, very hospitable people. Kosovans were the same, you know. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Please write a comment and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so, okay? And one more thing I need to tell you, if you ever visit Albania during summer, don't forget to go to Sarande, Vlore, Xamil, Butrint. They have the nicest beaches in here, you know? Another thing, which I'm upset about, <laughs> uh, Albania and Kosovo, they do not stamp your passports. Ah, I love these passport stamps on my passport. They are souvenirs, they are the evidence that you have been to that country. <laughs> Never mind, this is just a minor thing to be get angry about, right? Okay, so let's hope this country will get even better, you know, and I will revisit it soon. What can I say more? Thank you very much for watching until here, you know, and hope to see you at the next adventure. Bye bye. Airport to the city center, city center to the airport, guys, and the Loons company. 24 hours a day every hour Just bear in mind and it is only four euro each way I am at the Nana Teresa airport Tirana Albania so guys end of the trip I'm flying back today oh. smoking area outside so they thought about the smokers <laughs> it's like the plum you know the liqueur some of them they got 40% 42 45 50 definitely try this one awesome